So today we'll be talking about the anatomy of the modulus. Uh, we'll be talking about the modulus, where it is found, and what are the structures that actually form the modulus. Okay, so the question is, comment on the anatomy of the modulus, right? So this is uh, basically uh, the temporalis, masseta, and down here you could see the modulus, okay? So you could see that the modulus is like a wheel. This muscle coming, 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 this muscle, it's like a wheel, okay, like a bicycle wheel, okay, or you call it a cart wheel, okay, where many muscles are coming to insert, okay, and you can see that it is beside the angle of the mouse, all right, so from pictures, you can infer and what, and um, define things, okay, so, modulus is defined as a point of insertion of facial muscles, all right? So, it has a cut wheel shape, okay? It is 10 millimeters to 20 millimeters away from the angle of the mouth or lateral to the angle of the mouth, okay? So, this is the modulus. Though this picture is not clear, but we'll make use of it. Trust me, when I point something, you guys will understand. So, these are the muscles that form the modulus or insert okay into the cat wheel that we call the modulus we have the orbicularis oris we have the businator we have the resorius we have the levator anguli oris okay you can use your atlas to check them out we have the depressor anguli oris we have the zygomatic major we have the platysma we have the levator labi superioris we have the depressor labial inferioris so these muscles are much and i would like to actually develop a mnemonics from them okay so i can see this is l this is o um l o r then 2d okay so that that's a lord okay that word means lord okay so let's develop a mnemonics lord okay lord so Lord, okay, Lord, what are the letters left? Okay, Lord, so we have two L, okay. So we have two L, we have two D, okay, two L, two D, all right. Then we have B left, we have Z left, and we have P left, okay. So Lord, P, Z, B. Okay, so this is a cute mnemonic. All right, Lord PZB. Okay, first L, let me be marking again. All right, Levator Anguli Oris. Second L, Levator Libri Superioris. Okay, O is what? Orbicularis Oris. R is what? Resorius. First D is what? Depressor Anguli Oris. Um, Second D is what depressor labi inferioris. Okay. P is what platysma. Z is zygomaticus major. And B is what businator. Okay. So, guys, this is it. And let's try to see where you can see any of these muscles on this picture. Okay. So, orbicularis oris. This is orbicularis oris. Okay. And it's a muscle that make up the leap. Okay. Then, businator. This is it. Butanator is used for inflating your cheeks. All right. The resorius. Resorius is here at the angle of the mouth too. Then we have levator anguli oris. Levator anguli oris. All right. So this is it. Levator. It takes the upper lip up. Okay. Then we have depressor anguli oris. Okay. It depresses the mouth at the angle. Depressor anguli oris. Okay, so like you understand. Then we have zygomaticus major. Zygomaticus major. I think okay, this is the zygomaticus major. Okay, zygomaticus major is for frowning. I think so. Then we have um platysma. All right, we have platysma. Platysma. I think this is platysma, all right? We have levator libi superioris. Oh, yeah. Levator libi superioris, okay? So, it's not a clear image, but I know you guys can make sense from here. 
and see clear images from your class. Then lastly, we have depressor labor inferioris. This is a depressor labor inferioris, okay? So this is it, and the mnemonic to remember the muscles that make up the modulus. Lord PZB, okay, with L having raised to power 2 and D having raised to power 2, right? So calm down. When you write it like three times, it's already in your head, believe me. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.